Hey, LPS students, this is the last video um, for the poker assignment. Um, it covers the full house function, which will check to see if we have a hand that contains both a three of a kind, so that is three of the same number, like a four, a four, and a four, as well as a pair of a different number, which could be, um, let's say, two numbers like five and five. So in total, the integer array could contain four, 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 five, five, and that will be a full house. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to declare an integer variable that will track um, the number which contain which could contain a three of a kind, because it needs to be different. The three of a kind needs to be a different number than the card that um, consists of the pair. So in the example I gave. Uh, the three of a kind, three of a kind um, was three fours and the pair was two fives. So this variable, um, which we can call int uh, three of kind, uh, will be set to zero before we begin looking for our three of a kind. And once we find what the three of a kind is, we will set that element in the array equal to three of a kind. Um, so let's start looking for a three of a kind. We're going to want to use a for loop that will look through all the elements in the array. So this should be pretty standard at this point, where we start at an index of zero, and while the index is less than num cards, we'll look at each element one by one. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is keep track of matching cards, um, the total count of matching cards. So I'm going to move this comment into our for loop. And we're going to initialize a matching card variable, which is an int. And we'll set matching cards equal to 0. And if we find two instances where a number matches another number, um, where the same number, pardon, matches two other of the same numbers, um, we'll have matching cards equal to two. So let's make now an inner for loop. So I'm going to move all these comments right here. And I'm going to put them inside of the for loop. So now we use an inner nest a, a nested for loop so a for loop inside of our outer for loop and that will look at comparison indexes so i'll say int comparison index and we want it to look at every other number so we're going to initialize it to our outer index i plus one so we want to be looking at the next number in the hand and we'll look uh, every index in the array. So while comparison index is less than num cards, and then we'll add one to the comparison index. Great. So when do we have a pair inside of this double nested for loop? Um, well, we should have a pair when an element at the index of i equals an element at the comparison index. So we'll use an if statement, and we want to check to see if cards at the i index is equal to the cards at the comparison index. So when this occurs, that means that we have a match. So we'll want to add one to our matching cards um, int variable, which counts a number of instances where a single element matches another element in the array. So after we check to see if the cards match, we'll want to check the total number of matching cards at this point to see if we have two matching cards, because that's the number of um, 
matches that will consist of a three of a kind. So once this occurs, um, this is when we have our three of a kind, and we'll want to do two things. We'll want to first store the number, so the element inside the array, to our um, tracker variable, three of a kind. So we want to set three of a kind equal to cards, sorry, cards at the index we are currently at. And what we can do now is if we have um, the three of a kind found already, we can just break out of the for loop that we are currently in. And we have found the three of a kind at this point. So let's make sure that we're closing all of the for loops. Great. So this will close the comparison for loop. This will close the outer for loop. And next we can do, the next thing we can do is um, we'll check to see if we have a three of a kind. And we can imagine a scenario where we did not find two matching cards, but we just exhausted this entire um, search for one and we have not yet returned true or false yet in the function. So before we start to look for a pair now, we can just double check to, to make sure that we have a three of a kind before we look for a pair. Um, because if we do not have a three of a kind, we can return false here um, before looking for the pair. So in order to do that, we'll want to, um, there are two ways we can do it. We can see maybe perhaps if what matching cards um, is equal to here at this point. Um, actually, sorry, no, Matt, that would not be the best strategy. Basically, what we should do is we should check to see what value is stored inside of our um, tracking um, integer variable. And because we know if we found a three of a kind, we will have set it to some number that's between one and nine. Um, so if we don't find a three of a kind within this process, three of a kind will still equal zero. So basically, we should check to see if three of a kind still equals zero. So if three of a kind is still equal to zero, we did not find a three of a kind, and without a three of a kind, we do not have a full house. So we can return false here, and that will ease our search before we start to look for a pair. Great, so now we're in the business of finding a pair. Um, and the way we can do that is I'm going to take all these comments right here and paste them at this point. So at this point in the um, function, we'll want to find a pair that is different than our three of a kind. So let's start the search for a pair. We're going to use the same double nested for loop. So I'm going to copy and paste the two for loops from before, and um, give me, I'll give the viewer some time to also copy and paste our for loops, and great. So we can see now that we have a comment that says, need to check if um, we can find two elements that are matching, and that the matching cards are a different number than the three of a kind. So our if statement in here will need to have two conditions. First, we'll find the matching cards. So we'll look at cards um, index of i and see if it's matching to the comparison index. That would indicate a matching pair. But then we also need to include this log logical and operator to test to make sure that the matching cards are different are a different number than the three of a kind um, numbers. So this would prevent a situation from counting one of the three of a kind uh, numbers as um, a pair. So in order to do this, uh, let me take a sip of this first. We're going to use 
our three of a kind variable. So um, we want to make sure that whatever number is matching here is not the number we stored as the three of a kind in this line. So what we can do is we'll say cards at the index we're looking at is not equal to three of a kind. So we found two matching cards and it was a different number than the um, number we found a three of a kind um, earlier. So if we get to this condition, then we have the whole full house. That's great. So we'll return true there that, at that point in the code, and then we'll close off those two for loops from earlier. And then we can, basically, if we've gone through this entire process and we didn't find that pair, we'll know at this point we can return false. We, we didn't find the pair here, we, it means that we found the three of a kind from before, but we didn't find that pair. That'll make it a full house. So then after we return false, we can close off the three of a kind function and we'll double check to make sure that the closing bracket is closing the function and that's the end of a three of a kind. So that will conclude our arduous journey through the game of poker and um, this would be a good point to you know proofread all of your code make sure that your brackets are closing in the right spots and then you can test your um, poker hand underscore test file and run the game and basically just give it some input and test all the kinds of hands we wrote in the poker game so that concludes the end of the poker assignment. Um, best of luck, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.